Everybody and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis. You know what they just did? They just opened a new Salvation Army family store. Not even half a mile from where I live. That's right. Why would they do that to me? That's just more records for me. And I love it. Imagine, imagine that someone builds this building and it turns into some type of shop, maybe a, I don't know, some type of furniture store. Then they go out of business and it just sits vacant for a very long time. And someone has the bright idea to turn it into a Salvation Army family store. And they get in all of this stuff. They get in furniture. They get in men's clothing, women's clothing, children's clothing, videos, DVDs, cassettes, books, records. Wait, did I just say records? Yeah. So, they bring in all this stuff. Then someone has the audacity to bring in Disco records, one of my favorite genres. And so the other day I had this strange urge. Well, I would, no, it's not strange. I love me some McDonald's fish sandwiches. I have the urge, another urge, to go to McDonald's and get a fish sandwich combo. Don't you just love those fish sandwiches from McDonald's? I don't know about you. <laughs> but I just love me some McDonald's fish sandwiches. I could eat those all day. And that tartar sauce and that cheese and those fries. <sighs> McDonald's fries, man. You know what I would do? i do this. If I'm in the mood for Burger King, I'll go to Burger King and get a Whopper and not get the fries, just get the Whopper, and go to McDonald's and get their fries. There should be like a mixture of the two. You should be able to say, listen, I want a Whopper and I want the McDonald's fries right now. Great combo. Anyway, I've digressed. So I get this urge to go to McDonald's and I see on the right side of my car, a sign that says, Salvation Army Family Store Grand Opening. I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't think I should get this fish sandwich right now because if I want to stop back at this family store, my food will get cold. So I decide to uh, make a U-turn and go back to the Salvation Army Family Store. I walk in, I go straight to the records. Y'all, the records were in horrible condition. Now, what I mean by that is that they were not organized properly. They were just thrown to the bottom shelf. The DVDs placed so beautifully and the cassettes so beautifully placed and the records were just like they were spit out by an alligator. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? So, I sat my butt down and organized those records in a great, great organized fashion, you know? They were sitting like this on top of each other. And I made them go like that, made them look beautiful at the bottom shelf. Then I started looking. Somebody had the audacity. They had the audacity. Is there any other word I can use? Someone had the audacity to bring in or donate Gloria Gaynor Love Tracks, which features 
I will survive. One of the most recognizable disco songs of that era, 1978. It is in pristine condition. There is not a marking on this album. I've listened to it. It's like heaven. Did you know that I Will Survive was actually a B-side? They hadn't planned on that song being a hit. That was on the B-side of a 45. And DJs liked the B-side better than the A-side. And then people just loved I Will Survive. Classic. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. Then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong and I learned how to get along. You know the rest, I'm sure. Oh man. Then they had the nerve, somebody had the nerve to bring in Disco Nights from k -Tail Records. Ironically, before I did this video, I saw someone on YouTube, one of our VC members, he did a video about k -Tail Records and how when they did these compilations, they diminished the quality of the music because they put so many songs on the album that it just made the quality of the songs awful. I can see where he's coming from. Seven songs on each side. I'll see that. However, I thoroughly enjoyed this record. And what makes it so good for me is that the, the songs don't fade away and just leave you hanging and then go to the next song. They fade away and then go into the next song seamlessly. So it goes from uh, Macho Man from the Village People into you and I, Rick James. Macho, macho man, I want to be a macho man. Duh. You and I, bum, bum, then we go together like a glove on hand. That's right. I just love that. I just think that's fantastic. That's how much I love disco. I was so happy to find this and then to find it in good condition and there's no skips and it's just, you know what? I don't think I would actually buy k -Tail compilation records on eBay or Discogs, but if I saw them in thrift stores and Salvation Army family stores like I did recently for 99 cents, I'd buy it. Next. This is the big 33 single of Freak La Freak from Chic. La Freak from Chic. And then on the back, there is the instrumental version of their album or their song Savoir Faire. Savoir, Savoir Faire. That is French. I never knew what it meant until today. Savoir faire. It means the ability to speak appropriately in certain situations. The ability to speak appropriately in certain situations. Savoir faire. I love that. But Le Freak? Oh, man. Great, great album. Man. I was just overwhelmed with what I found. Just those three albums. Then I saw the DVDs. I know this is not this is not vinyl. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, remember the toy? This was 199 in the DVD section. Classic. Oh man, so funny. 
I hadn't watched this film in ages, 1982, okay? Jackie Gleason, Richard Pryor, just, just a great plot. You look back on it now and it seems so fake and phony, but back then it was like so good. So I just have to go back in that time and freeze myself in 82 and just imagine. But Richard Pryor is just hilarious. He, he made some great films, he really did. And I also found one of my favorites, my favorite comedies, The Little Rascals. You know, what can you say? I mean, this, from all these years, this still stands up. You can still watch, at least for me, I can still watch these shorts and just love them. Well, some of the wildest things that happen in the Little Rascals shorts. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make, that doesn't sound good. Wait, some of the best things that happens in the Little Rascal scenes is when there's nothing but music and you see the strange things that are happening. I think one of one of my favorite Little Rascals um, shows is called Let's Go Fly a Kite. And they're trying to save this, this old lady from being evicted from her home by her evil son. And at the end, the son is trying to get his mother's money. And they're all in bond, savings bonds. And so the Little Rascals find out and they, they take those bonds and they put them on a kite. And when the son comes over to get those bonds from his mother, he wants to steal them from her. I think he's his, I think she's his stepmother. But she's taking good care of him, you know. And he looks for the bonds and he's like, where are these bonds? And then she tells him that, well, the, the little rascals don't know that they've actually taken the bonds and put them on a kite. They just need some weight on the kite for some reason to make it fly better. So the woman, the old woman just says, there's nothing I can do with these bonds here. So go ahead and just put them on the kite. And she's putting them on the kite and the little rascals go out and fly the kite. And when the son comes in and says, I want those bonds. She says, well, they're out there on that kite. <laughs> and the kids, the little rascals, are flying the kite. And he's trying to get the kite from the kids. And the music starts. This fantastic music starts. And it's just, to me, one of the best soundtracks for that scene. I mean, I can still listen to that music and it just brings chills to me because I love it. And he's trying to get the kite. And he falls in the mud. And he... He gets his behind uh, run over by a board of nails <laughs> and the, the dog tries to bite him and the kids are punching him and it's just hilarious. Is that on here? No, this is not on here. But let's go fly a kite. Oh man. I was so glad to have found this. So glad. I'm gonna, you know what? And there's also, there is a Little Rascal soundtrack and wow, B Records, do you have the, the Little Rascals soundtrack? I don't think it's on vinyl, but I'd get it even if it were on CD. I had it at one point, but lost it during one of my moves. Wow. Mm. Well, I also want to give a shout out. Um, there is a gentleman in the vinyl community who's been on here for a long time. His name is Derek Higgins. And his, his YouTube channel name is Derek Vaughn. D-E-R-E-C-K-V-O-N. He has been making uh, vinyl videos for years. And he lives in Omaha, Nebraska. He's a very prestigious, well-known 
artist and he's he's an African American dude, he he has such an eclectic just an eclectic collection of vinyl. It's just it, it blows my mind. He has opened my mind to so many artists. For example, one of his most recent videos, he talks about a jazz artist that I had no idea about. His name is Barry Miles. And Barry Miles has this album out, or it came out in 1972, called White Heat. And that album, I've been Spotifying it and I'm trying to get it on eBay. That album is blowing me away. It's instrumental. I think there's a there's a few vocals in some some of the songs. But the song White Heat, that man can play his fingers off, man, on the piano. So he like he bridges jazz and fusion jazz together, man. And he is a prodigy. There's even a video of him when he's like not even 10 or 11 years old. And he's playing the drums and he's up against another jazz drummer and he plays with the, with the band and they're trying to see which one is the best. And man, it's black and white and it's just awesome, dude. Barry Miles. Never knew. Thank you, Derek Higgins. If you're not familiar with that, with that fantastic man and his videos, shout out to Derek Higgins. Man, I watch your videos and I am constantly learning something. And again, your taste in music is so vast. It's so wide. It's so huge. It's just so phenomenal that I can't keep up sometimes. I'm like, I don't know 75% of the people he be talking about. And I'm constantly learning, always learning something. I'm getting that Barry Miles album. For show, I'm getting that record. Everybody, it's been such a joy talking to you. I'm going to head out to Starbucks because I want me some coffee. It's a beautiful day here in Missouri. And um, that's all I want to share with you. And as always, with music, be inspired and stay inspired.